All right, we get a 1577, we get the white pieces, I'm going to play e4. Welcome to day 142 on my journey to 2000 elo on chess.com. And for those who've been watching know I like to play a little gambit with uh, against the Karl Khan. Get this open f file. And I've been playing this move, but I don't think it's necessary and I don't think it's as active. So I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to put the bishop here. Yeah. Because I'm going to castle. Yeah, so they trade off the light square bishop, which I think is a mistake. I'm going to castle here. I could even castle this way. So immediately we're going to have pressure on this knight when it comes out. I'm not... Oh, I... I do this every time. I gotta remember this. This check. Although, can opponent really take the bishop? I wonder if I block. I think I should block with the bishop. Because if I start doing... Alright, so let's say opponent takes and I take here. I can then take there, so I'm getting a bishop back. Let's just scoot the king over. But it might have been nice to have my rook to come into the party here. I don't think they can even take. Yeah. I should have probably blocked the queen with the bishop. Yeah, I definitely should have blocked because now this is a little bit dicey. I could go here. Stupid. I can still chase the queen. Or I can pin. Still feel pretty good about this. Not amazing, but decent. Maybe they swing the king, queen over here to try to trade it off. Nope. They allow me another tempo, which I'll take. And I only play this way to get... So people who play the Karl Khan really like to play, in my experience, positional games. I am one of those players. And getting them out of their element a little bit early is what I like to do. So I'm thinking about this move. They have this, but then that undef that kind of opens this up a little bit. I also have this and then jumping knight in. Let's try to chase the queen one more time. Trying to force this move and then maybe go here. Oh wow, so the queen goes all the way back. I can now try to force a trade of bishops. I think I want to just go here. Maybe go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm thinking, okay, I'm looking at this pawn, you better castle. And I just blundered this. Yeah. Which I, I mean, I give up the bishop. But is that really that bad? I kind of want to stay right here. So if I go here and he takes here, I can take here. Rook goes over here. And then I take this. I 
think I do want to stay right here though. As you can see, I'm not super familiar with these uh, openings I've been playing, and that's part of this process is I'm trying to figure out, do I really want to open the G file though? He can't go here, so can he get himself out of check by, or he can, he can just attack my, oh no, that doesn't work. I take the rook. Let's do what this, I'm just going to do what feels right. Now I take the knight. But yeah, I'm not super familiar with these openings, so I'm learning the patterns, learning how to apply pressure, when to apply pressure, all of that stuff. So if I take here, that's not good. What does he have? Nothing yet. So I have this and this. Let's go for it. There's got to be something here. He's attacking this rook. There's got to be something here. Let's just do something solid and then maybe take a pawn. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Although now I just take this pawn. But he can go, if I take this pawn, he can go here. I just take this pawn. And he goes here, threatening checkmate. My queen has the potential to get chased around a lot if I remove all these pawns. If I go here, this is a good, potentially good move. If I go here, he can take with the knight. I take with the rook. No, that just trades a rook for... Man, I feel like I can't think. Okay, so if I go here, takes, takes, that's fine. But if I go here and he, and he chases, he goes to the G file, he chases my queen. I can't then take this. I have to just go somewhere else with my queen. Yeah, so I just have to go somewhere else with the queen. Just fine. I'm threatening to win this, so I just go here probably. I kind of want to go here, maybe. Go here, he goes here. That's no good. I can go. I almost want to go somewhere on this diagonal here kind of what maybe I should just protect right here but then he has this move let's be a little bit more solid go here now this pawn is being attacked pressure here Again, taking much too long. Me, I mean, not my opponent. He can maneuver the knight in, but I don't know how good that is. It gives this up for che with check. Let's just 
do this, I guess. All right, so I can pin that to the king. That seems useful. I need to certainly worry about my back rank, but I'm not worried yet. I can always just push a pawn. Or push this, if the queen comes over, for example, I can push here. Queen doesn't have access to the back rank at the moment. I like this because it threatens to take this pawn potentially. Okay, so this is a... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Let's not be hasty. So first of all, I can take this. But is that a mistake? I need to find a way to protect the back rank from both threats. go here he takes this let's just let's do this first and now that's not pinned I can go here and either way I block here Holding on uh, just barely here. Oh, oh, I didn't realize my bishop was hanging. Jeez. So with very little time left, I'm going to try to march the pawn down the board. I certainly have been playing pretty poorly lately It's just not, I'm just not seeing anything. Too busy thinking about attacking all the time. Been trying to focus on attacking and learning how to attack, and it's just, I feel like it's going poorly. But I feel I'm never gonna make it to 2000 if I don't hone this skill. If I don't know when to attack, how to attack. I'm never gonna make it. I think I think I might resign soon, but I just wanna see what my opponent does. Okay, so he's just gonna take another pawn. Let's go here. <laughs> see if he lets me take his bishop. Nope, negative. My only hope is this pawn. See what you did there. Let's go up.
There's no chance I win this game. Even if I make a queen, how, how do I, how am I going to even have enough time? Maybe they go here. Jeez. Hmm. I don't think I can make a queen. Yeah, I'm just going to resign. I can't get past. Great game to my opponent. Or game by me. Let's see. I had a, I don't know if my vision has just been off with this, with the board lately, but I had a game last night where I, I was playing and me and the opponent both missed that his queen was hanging for like three moves. Took us, took me three moves to see that his queen was hanging. Okay. So that's an inaccuracy. What's the best move? Probably just a, oh wow. Just force the bishop off. Let's see, what do the opening explorers say? Bishop C, well, Bishop C4 is the top move. I mean, I know the engine doesn't like it, that castle. But I believe he just snap took here. And I think this was much better for me. And I wanna say, I know he took this with check, but listen here, what about this? Queen f6 is like offering a trade and then going oops, offering a trade of queens is the best thing you can do right now. Um, queen g3, so just denying the trade of queens, keeping an eye on this diagonal, maybe infiltrating here. Queen g6 now, you just, you know, like, no, I insist. Yeah, so this is way better for me. So taking the pawn is not such a big deal. I did the king move is the big deal. And still I felt good about this. So bishop f4 instead. Queen h4, queen g4. That's not even the best move either. Yeah, I mean I felt pretty okay so the just bringing the rook over. You know, play simple. Attack the pawn. Attack the weakness. And now it's just too late. It's still not bad. Hanging my piece was bad. I should have just played this. Although now it's like minus two. So after he's able to trade the rooks. And then take my piece. I think I just didn't realize. I, I just, in my mind, this knight was pinned. But after, after the king moves, the knight is no longer pinned. All right, let me play another one. All right, I think I'm just going to stop at two, no matter if I lose. I have a hard time just losing a bunch of games on camera. And just being okay with it, but we're going to have to. I don't think this is good. Let's get the bishop out. Okay. I don't think that's good either, but what am I going to do about it? Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Let's get this knight over here. Pressure here, pressure here. I don't really like taking here and opening up the f-file, especially when my king is not castled. I kind of like, I don't like, I don't want this knight coming in here and getting to this square. It's not, I shouldn't be afraid of it right now, but I just don't like it in general. So let's do that. Play rook over.
to be here. This looks good. I missed uh, that. So this hits this pawn and this pawn. Let's move right here. What's this move about anyway? He wants to get his... Queen over? I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know what this move does. But what about here? Maybe he wants to go here and then here. So if I go here, here. So queen b6, he's got knight a, knight a4. And I can't take here. That's the issue. Maybe I just go here. Should, should I play b5 to avoid his knight coming in? Or should I play my own knight here to a5? Put my knight here. I can do this first. I can do this first and then maybe go here. I also, now I have this move, this queen b6 move. It doesn't hit the other pawn, but then he's got to come back with the bishop. If he does that, is he just protecting his knight? It's a strange way to do it. I suppose I can't push that pawn because this pawn will hang. I like queen b6 only because it gets my queen active. This knight. So my pieces are just a little bit cramped because this bishop can't really go anywhere. This knight has no prospects except for this square. So maybe I need to get this knight. I get here from here. It's gonna take me three moves to get here. Let's play, let's play queen b6 because it does threaten this pawn. And then I'll look for something more active here in a moment. I can play this now. Maybe that's the plan. Okay, so he he protects that way. And it gives me kind of a free reign on the queen side, I feel like. I could also now play this and then get my rook up here for the time being. And then bring my other rook over. I need to move my queen though. What if I play a5? I can get my a5. Takes, 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 takes. I kind of like a5. I need to open up the queen side, I think. Really? People do this all the time. I guess I can't go here because then he's got this move. And it locks my bishop out there. I don't want to do that. I just don't think this is any good. He does have this move though to block my bishop out, but I mean, what are you gonna do after that? Can't really take it yet. take the pawn. Really? Move 
it onto a light square. What is this? I'm gonna go here. This is so strange. Um, I guess I move my knight here. So the question is, do I move here? I feel that this facilitates eventually taking this pawn. Let's keep things a little bit more tidy though. Not too worried about this push because I just take. So he's got double pressure on the pawn now. I can take here and then take the bishop. And takes my. So if I take here. I think this is okay. take with a rook but then I take the knight yep and now let's pin the knight I have a pass pawn so the knight can travel here so if I go here and the knight goes here um, I take and then I, it takes and I take here I think that's very good for me to find a way to dislodge his queen though maybe hmm. it's not that simple I guess can even go here he goes here sack the exchange have two pa or a pass spawn right here interesting so he goes back I'll take here. Takes back with the knight. So my two thoughts are... Getting this pawn and pushing this pawn. push it yet though that's the question let's just get my rook to an open file kind of want to have it behind this pawn but I need to find a way where I can push the pawn Okay. Let's go here to put more pressure on this pawn. He wants to go here and kick my bishop out, which I'm fine with. Let's come back. I don't need to checkmate him right now. Need to... Actually, he can't go here because then I just take here. And I guess... I guess... No, he doesn't have any way to the back rank. He goes here, then I can't take here. Yes, I can, because then I just go back here. I like his, uh, I didn't even notice uh, this little sad emoji. Yeah, so he does do this, which I don't think is right.
He apparently, yeah, he's gonna go there. And I just drop my bishop back and save the bishop. Now my queen is free. And I have this pass pawn. So what I want to do is come back here and start pushing this pawn. I, I always talk about how I'm terrible at this. Terrible at knowing how to push past pawns when I'm up material and all that. But now might be one of those times. So this... I'm not worried about, but I am going to come back. I can block like this, so that's why I'm not so worried. I want to push this pawn. Interesting. Ah, oh, man, I need I need to play more automatically. He's blockading my pawn, so maybe I should have gone there. I probably should go there actually, or go here. And then he's got this. Maybe I should go here to try to trade rooks. That would be a bad move. I don't know what I'm missing here. Maybe he's got this. I can just trade rook, trade queens. I have this. I'm controlling this square. Gotta move his knight, yeah. Take the queen. Oh, I fall for the stupid fork. No, oh, okay. Wait. No, I don't. Oh, man. Here's where I blunder in low time. Yeah, I see. I still uh, have winning chances though. Get ready for the checks, I guess.
Pokemon resign, you know you should lose. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. My heart is racing. 0.7 seconds left. Guys, did I do it or what? I never do this. Did I do it? Oh my gosh. Credit to my opponent. He really made me work for that. That was nuts. I, I mean... It was... I can't believe I made that checkmate. Eighty-eight point four accuracy. Opponent, eighty-two point six. Says I played if as a, if, if if I was a two thousand. That's the goal, but not yet. My God! All right. Yeah. So when I was saying this is. Sorry, I have a habit of chewing ice, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get a bunch of ice in my mouth, and I'm like, what do I do with this? Alright, so I didn't mean this is bad for white. So when I was saying, like, this is not good, it's more so as white, you want to have a, a an advantage out of the opening, and as you can see, it's basically equal. So white, by doing these couple moves, has allowed black to equalize out of the opening, which is not what you want for white. You want to, you want to be slightly better. And basically we have zeros here all right so here my thought was b5 let's see what the analysis says knight a5 right away is fine actually wonder is this a decent move knight a5 right away and we have g4 whoa already so yeah that, that i guess that's a common way to get the knight out so rook to d the d file is better so all this was fine okay so oh he's got this so with this move, he has this. Oh, I already saw that. Never mind. My plan was if here, I take. Oop, I take here, but then he can take with the queen, and I'm actually. I guess this is fine, but I would thought he takes with the rook on accident, and then I have, you know, this uh, this threat here. How does black even deal with this? Rook B2. I mean, that's the top move. Or B2, sorry, B2. Yeah, you give up your rook. And then you gotta go, you gotta take the bishop. Okay. I'm thinking B7, okay. So let's see. Let's go back to the game here. So what was the best move? So the best move was getting out of the out of it this way. Okay. That's best. That is best. Interesting. Now I should have gone now I should have gone rook b2. Yeah, why didn't I 
think about all the pressure I would have on this pawn. It's best. I'm bringing my bishop back, I'm sure. Is, oh, all the way to d8? Why? Oh. To continue to put pressure here. It says g5 was best. Or g6, queen a7. Queen e7 I get, because then you can potentially line up and force a trade. So this is an inaccuracy. Like I was saying, I'm thinking, okay, I'm so bad at knowing when to push pawns. This seems like a time with pieces on the board that, oops, maybe it's because queens are still on. I need to know when to push pawns. I need to develop that instinct. So just keep poking and prodding and then we win a piece or we, we force an exchange, sorry. And then we win a piece, opponent blunders here. Right after I thought I blundered. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so he, it says it wants this. Wants me to put my bishop here, or at least right here to lock all these pawns in to avoid any counterplay. So let's just take in the fact that I have 35 seconds left and I found a way through this and I never do that so it's playing every move almost instantly and right here eight seconds three seconds two seconds yeah two seconds right here I, I'm actually so I'm lucky that all my pre moves made sense like had he gone here with this king, my king coming here made no sense. And then I would have had to do this or pushed like it, but it would have taken like half a second to see that. So my opponent like kind of let me, or actually, no, I pushed the pawn because I knew his king would have to move. So no matter what, his king has to move. So I pushed the pawn. That was smart. And actually I should have just, why didn't I just promote? I could have promoted there. I had a faster checkmate. Yeah, I had a faster checkmate. That's okay. I just, I'll, I'll just, can I just be proud of, of me finishing one of these games on in, in time? Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back next time.